What's going on guys, I'm with the Moose and today I'm going to be talking about how I do elite sets so fast. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me that on, on Twitter, especially because I post pictures of whenever I complete them. I've completed now six I believe, um, and I'm getting there on most of them. So as you guys can see, you know, I have a few cards in every single one. I have completed the Bills, the Bengals, uh, let's see what else. I'm pretty close on the Buccaneers, halfway there on that one. Uh, I've completed the Cowboys, the Falcons, and then I believe... Uh, the Titans and um, the Texans. So the Texans and the Titans right here. Um, but as you guys can see, I have almost you know three or four or more cards in every single Elite set, and that's basically one of the ways I do them so fast. So let's just take a look at the Buccaneers set since it happens to be the one that I'm closest to completing at the time of making this video. Um, so I already have Josh McCown in there. I already have Brandon Myers, Anthony Collins, Evan Dietrich, Smith, uh, Alteron Bernard, Deshaun Goldson, Mark Barron. And major right now most of those cards I bought on the auction house and just put them right into the set some of them I had pulled and just put them right in because they weren't worth anything but overall what I basically do to find these cards is I'll just search them from right here so right now this cards going for 300 coins bid and 10 million coins Michael Lennon is pretty rare I was looking at him yesterday he was going for around 8,000 coins and I wanted him for lower so I guess I won't I'll have to wait on that one now Doug Martin let's check him out I basically sort to buy now price it's going for around 7,500 coins so once you search these a few times, you're going to notice that, you know, the prices are pretty similar. So 7400 here, 7500 then almost 8 k um, So basically around 8 k is Doug Martin's value. So I really wouldn't consider a 7400 coin buyout a good buy. I would consider somewhere in the 6 k range a good buy. So that's basically what I look for. I look for little mini snipes, I guess you could say, um, and try and get a card for a little bit less than what its actual value is, just so I don't feel like I'm overpaying. Vincent Jackson goes for around 44 k so... 43,150 is an alright price, but I definitely don't don't consider that a great buy. Uh, I'd like to buy him for under 40k. Now I might have to make a concession on that because it is an elite card, so it's a little harder to get them for decent prices. But a lot of these silvers people will throw up for way less than what their actual value is. Tim Wright, as you can see, goes for around 9k, 10k, something like that. Um, I'd look for him around 7,500, something like that. I know it's a lot to pay for a silver, but you got to do it to complete these sets. So. Uh, you know, you kind of just have to make that sacrifice. Luke Stoker also goes for around 10k, so uh, that's basically how it goes. And you, like I said, you want to look for him for around, you know, 25% off, something like that. You know, a few thousand coins less than what they're worth. Now, Carl Nix goes for a ton, 28,000 coins. If I could snag him, you know, in the low 20s, 21, 22, I would probably do it right now. If there happened to be one up right now, I'd probably buy it. And uh, give you guys a good example of it. Now, Damar Dotson, let's see if he, you know, I can get a little bit of a mini snipe on him. Not really. He goes for around 4,000. Lowest one's at 3,700. Not a great buy there. Uh, Michael Johnson is pretty low. At least he was yesterday. I guess he went way up. Wow, he was going for around 3,500 yesterday. Now he's going for almost seven. So definitely would not buy him. Um, but I think the major key, at least in my mind, is just always no. Um, you know what the price of these are as you can see Claiborne's going for around 16,500 something like that right now um, But I would say just always search the cards um, If you're looking to complete a set look at the cards all the time I, Basically what I do is I play like two solo challenges and then I'll come into the sets and just search for the cards and see if I can get anything um, at the very least you're gonna get knowledge of what the market is for these cards um, and you're going to understand what their value is so you can actually, uh, you know, identify when you get a good price on a card, you know, when you just happen to search at one time. So let's say I had searched right here and Doug Martin was going for 5k, I would buy it right away um, and I could either resell it for, you know, 7,200 coins and make a little profit or I could just put it in the set. That's probably what I would do is just put it in the set because I know I need it, but this also works for sniping cards as well but I think it's the easiest way to complete elite sets I can usually do you know one a day now uh, I will say that you do need a lot of coins to do this um, as you guys could see this is actually one of the cheaper sets I believe uh, Carl Nix uh, Adrian Claiborne and I believe Vince Jackson were pretty much the most expensive cards minus the Mike Glennon because that's kind of an anomaly that there's only one in the auction house right now but this this set probably will, will cost me around 150 K something like that if you include the elite badge in the cost that's uh, one of the more annoying things. You pretty much have to pay full price for an elite badge unless you can get lucky and get a snipe. But overall, you will need you know at least 100, 200k, something like that, to start off doing these elite sets if you want to do them. Um, but I highly recommend trying to. They're not that hard to do. They just take a little while. Don't try to complete them right away. If I were to try and do it right now, I'd spend way too much when I know I can just wait a couple days or even a few hours in some cases and get these cards for a lot cheaper than they're going for right now. So 
Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below and let me know how you complete elite sets and if you complete them at all. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.